Well, my name is Kyle Nix. Um, I'm an ex-professional footballer. Basically, since I can remember being a kid, you know, that's how it all started, kicking a ball around with my, my dad and, you know, falling in love with the game straight away. Um, played for local teams back in the UK and representative teams. I think from a very young age, obviously, you know, um, Kyle has pretty much been my hero, you know, and I, I looked up to him as a, as a youngster. My first um, club that I, you know, luckily I played for and signed schoolboy forms for was the team I grew up supporting, Manchester United. Um, um, you know, luckily I captained, um, you know, the youth team there. I was at Aston Villa for three years. That's where I signed my my actual first professional um, contract on my 17th birthday. So. You know, I represented my country. I played for England um, my first game when I was 15. So I played for their schoolboy team and, you know, played against all, you know, Scotland and Ireland and Wales. After Sheffield United, I signed for Bradford City in League Two. I scored on my debut against Wolverhampton Wanderers, so my full debut. Some, you know, moments what stick out for me, that's, you know, definitely a main one because it's your first, your first goal in in professional football. Obviously you always look up to your older brothers as it is, so you're always inspired, but I think watching him become a professional footballer, represent his country, play football in a number of different countries, I'd have to first have say from his triumphs I was inspired. I ended up in Thailand and played for luckily I played for some you know some top clubs there. When I was twenty nine I had another opportunity to um, explore playing in a different country. I got the opportunity to go out to Malaysia. Uh, I actually remember speaking to my brother at the time, so on my 30th birthday, I felt off balance and just, you know, felt like there was something wrong with me. And I had to actually pull out of the training session after, you know, I sort of collapsed. I had a lot of bruising on my leg. I had to go back to the UK and get scans and tests and ultrasounds and stuff. They actually found a tumour in my left pumping chamber of my heart which needed removing. January the 21st was my birthday within six months so June the 3rd I had I actually had to have open heart surgery which um, saved my life but you know ended my ended my professional football career. It was actually a, a long procedure and pretty um, complex procedure you know that to take my heart out and stuff and it actually happens to you it's it's, it's quite surreal. Uh, actually told me that I'd had two uh, mini heart attacks um, within that si probably within that six month period so my fitness and being a professional athlete and how I'd lived all them years before that say you know actually kept me alive so my career sort of saved my life when you're training every day and games come in you know every weekend you sort of that's all you really think about you know that you think that's basically just life being alive from open heart surgery has definitely given me um, a perspective and you know sort of gratitude for life you know I'm probably lucky that that it happened to me in a way um, because it's gave me you know a totally different outlook on on my life you know I'm grateful that I had a you know a career in professional football because that's what I dreamt about as a kid but now I'm grateful you know for being able to coach and, and help with the next generation of, of players I've still got multiple tumours around my body and in my artery, arteries and my main one is in my right uh, femur which affects my circulation and stuff. You know, I had to retire from, from professional football which led me into the, the coaching, um, sort of the coaching route. Since coming out to Australia in 2017 we've um, built our coaching company, so it's K3 Coaching which is you know, helping the next generation of, uh, of footballers. Seeing my brother constantly come back, um, you know, from bleak times, it just inspires you to, same again, just want to let other people know that, you know, it's never, you know, there's no such word as can't, like, it's, it's never too late. Uh, I've been a massive inspiration for, you know, for K3, and we always said when he came out, uh, you know, after his surgery, that he would be the final piece to, you know, what we're doing. Um, and then, you know, just promoting like to do what you love because it can be taken away from you at any moment. Every day is important, every minute is important, every second is important. So I guess it's to love hard and 
careful but also to make sure that you do what you do and you do what you love to do.